Hello everybody, Man Pro here and welcome to the weekly update video for RS3. Now this week we have a patch week in FSOA uh, plus the AD changes. So, probably some good news and some bad news for some people. Uh, but, of course, the Fracture Staff of Armadillo and Animate Dead have been changed. So this will be into the, uh, the patch notes. But if you want more of a reasoning as to why there is a post that they have made about the reasonings as to why this change was made, uh, so you can check that out. Uh, there is some upcoming maintenance, which is actually planned for tomorrow. And yes, there was a um, issue that arised today. Uh, let's see here. There's an issue alert that arises at 1210. Uh, so there were some login issues impacting RuneScape as of 12.10, game time. Uh, and they have been updating the overall progress, uh, but things seem to be slowly getting back into, um, you know, the green, so things will soon be good again. Uh, but as of 15.49 game time, login servers started to be brought back online. Uh, the team will continue to monitor the situation closely, if you're still experiencing issues, you recommend completely restarting both your client and your Jackets launcher. So that is the current uh, situation. There has been no post after that. Uh, but the maintenance will be tomorrow, so Tuesday, June 6th at 10 a.m. BST, so 9 game time. Something to think about. Then we have the Treasure Hunter calendar. So the June 6th through the June 7th is you get the Genie's Wishes. So find Karama again. And then June 8th through the 14th, you have the Assassin's Return. So for the Faceless Assassin type gear, uh, we have that coming up again. Then we have the patch notes. So we have some combat changes, of course, because of Fractured Staff. Uh, the Fractured Staff of Armadillo Special Attack has been modified. The buff on the player no longer fires an additional auto attack after landing a critical hit. Instead, triggering a time strike, which deals 60 to 120% ability damage. Critical hits caused by time strikes um, do not trigger further time strikes. Which, more things have been going on, this makes a lot more sense. Uh, Animate Dead can now cannot reduce damage more than 60%, down from 75%. 75% was a lot. <laughs> the damage reduction now uses 25% of the defense level, so formally 33%. Uh, damage reduction now only works against core types of damage, so you got your melee, ranged, and magic. Will no longer work against typeless types of damage, uh, so well, typeless, poisons, and reflections of any other bespoke damage types. So they're basically, they're kind of getting ready for both of these things with necromancy, if you kind of think about it. That kind of seems to be what's going on here. General movement abilities can now be used in triple, uh, temple trekking, troll invasion, and tail moves, pub, first cave, and the flash powder factory areas. The Dominion Tower reward chest items are not spilling over the assigned area. The inventory is limited to 30 items, and no scroll bar uh, is displayed. Sarah's dialogue now accurately explains the coconut shine to hook a duck activities during the beach event. Completing a sandy clue scroll, uh, now count for the clue task during the Cape Golden Cape Hunt. That was actually fixed last week, but it's tied into this. Uh, Shadow Touch training items are no longer lost on death. There is now a add all weeds option when right clicking the usable compost bins. Filling a statue bag while having your bank open will now fill it with any statue uh, in your inventory and bank. Update a number of entries in the various skill guides. So, Spear of Annihilation to the attack skill, Masterwork of, well, Masterwork Spear of Annihilation to the attack, each Gun Wars Dungeon 1 Gutsworth and the respective passive to the attack, uh, Sun Spear Dagger to the attack skill, uh, Sun Spear Melee Range Magic to the attack range to magic skill guides, respectively. The entries for Reese's Orts have been combined into one entry. Bandos Stronghold and the Strength Skill Guide, and now uses a Bandos Icon rather than an Oak Door. 
removed Stasius and Vesta's armors from the strength skill guide, switched uh, void legs object for the body in the strength skill guide uh, for visual cleanliness, added fleeting boots to the defense skill guide, updated the text of various interfaces to improve readability, fixed grammatical error uh, related to the Purdy and power up, the Hailstorm Dagger now shows correctly well, correct tooltip in the Attack and Magic Guide uh, tabs. Uh, players are no longer informed about receiving the Golden Keep Sharp after claiming the Golden Keep from the Wise Old Man. Players can no longer obtain multiple Rings of Kinship after leaving the Demonheim's dungeon. Golden Keep Hunt info and buy tasks can have a more detailed description about the event rewards and task requirements. And hopefully everybody out there has gotten their golden cape by now. Uh, it's not exactly easy, but it's not overly hard at the same time. Uh, especially if you got the four for free right out the gate. Uh, community showcase, we have a big battle going on here. Uh, so this is by Isuzi. And there are beautiful player characters all over the place. Uh, big PvP event, if you will. Pretty cool looking. And following the Necromancy first look reveal, we already have a first look at an artist rendition of a cape. I kind of meant it does look really cool. Yeah, yeah that, that's probably the best actual turnout. And the first one here is by RS Illich. Uh, pretty awesome looking. And then we have another artist rendition here uh, from Was Anthony RS which is also looking pretty cool here. Uh, creating a another, well, skill cave here. It looks pretty cool, especially with the background they have behind it. And then we have Rune 2. We have RS3 Iron Man Journey to the Max, uh, Season 2, Episode 1. And this is by Waydots. So that, you know, that's going to be big. And then loot from 60k Arach Glacker. The Ultimate AFK Arch Glasher Guide. Uh, this is by Iron Araxar. Uh, so do check that out. And buffed money making in it, yeah, giving some tips and tricks how to make a bit more cash to lead up to necromancy. Of course, bones are a good one. <laughs> uh, can I complete RuneScape before necromancy releases by just background noise? Set themselves a goal. Of can I complete RuneScape before Necromancy releases? That's a good question. And if you haven't seen it yet, there is the Necromancy first look. So the do check that out if you're curious and you haven't watched it yet. Then we have some Scaper screenshots, of course. And we have the dial here right inside of Mauritania. Uh, check it out, Double Moon. Looks like that looks pretty awesome for the skybox. And RS Zyrakon taking a moment to reflect in the Lumbridge Crater. Uh, yeah, you can tell this was uh, taken before the beach, <laughs> pretty obviously. And someone dressed up all in their finery, uh, taking a Duke's Day Out by William Witt, Duke of Form 3. So there we go. And then we have the Pink Skirt Player events, which we have Corporal Beast event, which was hosted by... Patrick K. and Clackworthy, Wednesday, June 5th at 1900 game time. World 123 Corporal Beast Lair. I don't know why it says Wednesday, June 5th. That's actually today, June 5th. So that's a Monday today. I was going to say, I, I thought. Yeah. And then, um, Stealing Creation. They have the dates and everything messed up here. Hosted by RuneScape Discord Mentors, hosted, I don't know if this is meant to be, let me check here guys. Yeah, okay, so the rest of the dates are fine, it's just that first one, I just wanted to make sure for you guys. Uh, then we have a Stealing Creation one, uh, hosted by RuneScape uh, Discord Mentors, Friday, June 9th at 1800 game time. World 62 Stealing Creation Lobby, FC's A Help. Then we have another Stealing Creation hosted by Lady Spyra, uh, and Abyssy and Fast SC, Saturday, June 10th at 2100 game time. World 99, Steel and Creation Lobby, and FC is the Fast SC. A little bit of a late week this week, but do remember 
Uh, we do have the max uh, cash limit coming up here pretty directly. There is going to be the, um, yeah, we have the four streak update coming. We have some other stuff coming. We have that new quest coming too. So kind of nice to have a little bit of a breather day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, later guys. Thank you.